Hello, everyone. This brief video is intended to simply show you how to access smart thinking online tutoring in your course. Some of you have assignments in your courses that require you to submit to smart thinking for feedback before you submit your assignment to your instructor in the course. Uh, others may wish to use smart thinking as a means to get feedback from the smart thinking tutors in order to improve your writing, your citations, and other issues within your assignments. So, in your Canvas course, in every Canvas course here at Pierce, you will find a link to Smart Thinking Online Tutoring in the left-hand menu of your course. So you simply click on that link. Now, as an instructor, there's a little bit of a difference, so I need to explain that as we go through. But when you click on a link, you will see a page like this where it will verify your uh, browser to make sure it's right. And then here it lands uh, on my page for an instructor. So in order to see what you would see, I'm going to click this link here. Now, as again, you see the browser check, which is what you would see as soon as you click on Smart Thinking. And if you haven't done this before, it's going to ask you if you want to add that uh, generate a token for a mobile app, if you wish to use this on your phone for some reason, I always just click Ask Me Later because I have no use for this on my phone. Uh, I find, at least for me, very difficult to be typing up uh, work in my courses that I'm taking on my phone. And I need to have the ability to do research as I'm writing and look up additional things and pull my citations from other assignments. And doing it on my phone is just not happening. So I use it right on my laptop or my desktop. So after you have clicked on a smart thinking and then it does the browser check, you will land right here. And there, once you land here, you have options. You can either work directly with a tutor or career coach. You can submit a question. Let's say if you have a question about uh, where do I use quotation marks in my writing? Maybe that's your question. You can put that here. Uh, if you wish to submit your writing or your career documents, this is the one that we were gonna, are going to be using most of the time in our courses. And then you have the link to review my submissions, my sessions and submissions. This is the link that you would use to go back into Smart Thinking and look for the feedback from the smart thinking tutors. There are also down here links to how to use it. How, and this is the one that's most important, how to effectively use writing feedback in order to make your essay the best it possibly can be. So if you wanna read that, that'll help you as well. If you're looking for tutoring, again, we do have tutoring available through the Walker Center and it's pretty much similar now because we don't have the, canva, the campus open, so people are doing telephone tutoring, uh, email tutoring, and sometimes virtual. And I'm always willing to do that as well. But here's a link how to do the access drop-in tutoring in Smart Thinking with the Smart Thinking Tutors, which is part of the resources that are made available to you through Pierce College. So you have now an assignment that your instructor has given you whether it's me or someone else, that says, okay, before you submit this to the course, you are required to submit this to Smart Thinking, receive the feedback, update your assignment before you upload it to the course. And what I am also doing to verify that people are using Smart Thinking in, in some of my courses is requiring that the feedback document which is where you, well, the one you're going to get from clicking on this link here, the feedback document is also uploaded in the course. And I provided a place for that. And there's a, it's a five point thing. So if you don't do it, obviously it, it hurts you. Uh, but if you upload it, which is so simple, just whenever your assignment gets to a point where, okay, I've got the majority of this done, or maybe you're done, then you upload it to smart thinking. Usually they, they say they'll get back to you within 24 hours. So you need to upload it a day before your assignments do. So you get the feedback in time to make your updates to and edits to your assignment. 
and then you can upload both of them to where they need to go. So this is what it looks like. Submit my writing or career documents. So now you have a whole bunch of options. So it kind of depends upon what you're doing, what your courses are doing. You know, if you're, let's say you want to submit a copy of your discussion response. So that discussion response, you know, say it's 150, 200 words, you can actually use the paragraph submission, right? If it's longer, obviously you want to use a, a different place. What I usually recommend and what I usually use is the grammar and documentation review because this allows you, as it says, to fine tune your writing, to review any writing project for any class, focus on grammar, mechanics, and documentation. And that's what I'm looking for you to do because a lot of folks uh, whose writing that I read have difficulty with grammar, mechanics, and documentation and doing the citations that are required. So this particular one will give you that option. You also have the essay center, help you for writing submission to targets biggest revision needs from content and purpose to grammar and mechanics. Depending on how you feel about your grammar and documentation, maybe this is, is the one for you. I prefer the grammar and documentation review because it's, to me it's more basic and, and gets into what I'm looking for you to do. And then of course, there's a lot of other things. If you get to a point in a class where you need a resume or cover letter, you can have them review your resume or cover letter. If you're even at work, you can actually submit business writing here uh, to smart thinking. Career writing, prepare your job search materials, personalized review essay helps you to refine personal statements, employment profiles, application essays, and social media text. And this link to Smart Thinking is available in any one of your courses and also within some of the groups that you may belong to, like uh, the Legal Studies Student Association is in a Canvas shell, and also our Career and Professional Development Center has a Canvas shell, and that should be there as well. So once you're here, you click on the Grammar and Documentation Review. This will take you to the place where you can submit your writing. Now, what you do here is you, you tell them what your course level, you know, you're a freshman, junior, senior, sophomore, whatever, uh, what's the course? So here it just says the course number and your, your educational level. And then what's the title of your uh, assignment? So in, in the course that I'm using up here, that would be, literature review, or you might call it literature review on mass incarceration, or literature review on police use of force, or literature review on de-escalation, or any number of topics that, that you may have picked for your literature review. Then you're gonna provide some instructions here for the tutor. So, well, I am looking for the following. So tell them how long your paper's supposed to be, how many sources you're supposed to have, the fact that it needs to be cited in APA style, all those things, because they don't know that. You know, there are, there are other means of documentation, APA, MLA, Chicago, you know, a variety of ones. So you need to tell them in this box what your citation style or documentation style is. And for us, it's APA. And then you select first available, if ESL specialist, if you are a second language, English is a second language for you. Maybe this person would be helpful to you because there are some unique challenges that, that uh, second language learners have. Uh, business technical writing specialist or creative specialist. Uh, for most of the assignments in my classes, the best one is first available. Then you click just like you would, and this is probably self-explanatory for most of you, you choose the file. And then you go into your your file. So let's say I go into my assignments and I find the course that I want to submit the file from. So it's my current course and I have a folder for assignments. And as you can see, there's nothing there yet because my assignment's not due until Sunday. Uh, but let's say my discussions, I have multiple discussions here. And so I can click on one of them and I can set that up to be submitted. And then I could submit. 
Now, I don't want to give these people extra work right now, so I'm not going to submit this. But, you know, once you submit it, there's going to be some additional instructions. It'll tell you exactly what you have to do. And then you just have to wait. They say 24 hours. Usually it's shorter. You know, if you're doing it during the working day, like now, and they're not overwhelmed, maybe they get back to you in a little while. So, but keep in mind that for this to really work for the purpose at the end of the course, if you're submitting a final, a final paper, you need to give yourself at least 24 hours before your assignments do in order to submit this. All right, so once you're done, you can go back. Uh, when you come in, uh, I'm just gonna do a shortcut here. Go back to the main page and see if it lets me do that. All right. So again, once you've, you've submitted it, you follow the instructions, you're done. You come back hours later, you come back, you click on a smart thinking link and you wind up on this page again. Now you want to review your sessions and submissions. So you click this link and what you will have here. And if you're using it in more than one course, it's identifying you based upon your Pierce College identification, your Pierce College email, and it will show you any of the uh, items that you have submitted previously, including the one, the status of the one that you're looking for. And if it's ready, it'll tell you it's ready. So you can just download it, and then you open it up on your computer and you read through it and you see what they have to say. You need to then, if you're required to submit that document to your course, you go to that location where it's required to be submitted and submit it. You then make the required edits or revisions to your paper, and then you upload your paper. And that's the end of it. So if anyone has any additional questions, uh, please contact me. That information is available in the syllabus. I'm not going to recite it here because this is going to be generally posted on YouTube to help anyone else who may need this information. So again, you just click on the Smart Thinking Online Tutoring link. As I noted, it will check your browser to make sure your browser will handle it. And you will land on this page. You click Submit. Pick grammar and documentation review. Fill out the form, choose your file, submit your file. That will then take you to the status screen, which at that point, you know, if you're gonna leave your computer open for several hours, you could just leave it there and then you could just refresh the screen and you it may actually give you that information, tell you. Uh, what I usually do is I just get out of it and do other stuff for a while and then I'll go back to check the status of, of my documents. So again, reach out if you have any questions, comments, whatever, uh, and good luck.